Hi, I'm Dave Meany, Vice President of Sales for ECS Incorporated. In today's video, we'll be discussing some acronyms and hierarchy of timing products. We'll look at various types of clocks and discuss some of the acronyms used to identify them and the hierarchy of their use and performance. But before we start, I want to make a clarification about frequency control and timing products. When you hear the term clock, it is a generalization about all timing products. All frequency control products are universally known as clocks, including crystals, oscillators, resonators, etc. Clocks are used in every electronic circuit that exists. Some may require more sophistication than others, such as laptop computers and smartphones, and no one wants to pay for precision that they just don't need. So ECS offers a wide selection of clocks to fit all your performance and budget requirements. First in the pecking order are watch crystals. Watch crystals, also known as tuning forks, are used to display and capture day, date, and time information within electronic devices. Because these crystals operate at such a low frequency of 32.768 kHz, this requires them to have a very specific quartz geometry, consisting of a strip crystal in the shape of a tuning fork. That frequency is then divided by two 15 times to give us a 1 Hz or 1 second interval. They can offer stabilities as low as 10 parts per million. Watch crystals are also used in many places, such as wearables, wireless modules, microcontrollers, and low power processors. Next are basic crystals. Crystals are a piece of quartz cut and polished to resonate at a specific frequency. It requires supporting oscillator circuitry to function as a clock. Crystals are subject to temperature, aging, and variations in power supply. Since they are the least technically advanced, they are also the least expensive and a great choice for consumer products or wherever a simple clock is required. Basic crystals are available in stabilities down to five parts per million, but the overall stability is directly dependent on the oscillator circuitry. Now we will examine oscillators. XOs or crystal oscillators are a complete device that contains a quartz crystal, oscillator circuitry, and an output driver, and potentially a phase lock loop for generating higher frequencies. Oscillators offer a specific output signal format in HCMOS, LVDS, or LVPECL. Oscillators are capable of stabilities down to 10 parts per million and are a complete clock generator that can drive a chip directly. Next, we have the VCXOs. VCXOs, or voltage-controlled crystal oscillators, are variable frequency clocks, where the oscillator output frequency is adjusted using a DC voltage pin. This allows the oscillator to be tuned to an incoming signal for clock and data recovery, or calibrated remotely by a performance monitor, whereby most of the deviation in the frequency is removed through the voltage control pin. VCXOs can offer pull ranges in the hundreds of parts per million, depending on the application. Let's move on to TCXOs. TCXOs are temperature compensated crystal oscillators. They are unique in that they have a built-in thermistor that provides continuous calibration of the output frequency across the entire specific temperature range. It does this by sensing change in temperature and applying a small correction voltage to the oscillator. TCXOs are used in many RF communications applications, like radios, networking communications, cell phones, and offer stabilities down to half a part per million. Last are the OCXOs. They are the top of the crystal oscillator hierarchy. OCXO, or oven-controlled crystal oscillators, are built as a self-contained, temperature-controlled environment. The package is insulated, and the heater maintains the temperature of the crystal, as well as the oscillator circuitry. Because you have eliminated the effects of temperature in an OCXO, the stability is better than all other types of crystal-based oscillators. Some OCXOs have stabilities as low as 0.5 parts per billion, Here's an example of the performance these can offer. An entry-level OCXO has stability of 250 parts per billion. That is the equivalent of one quarter of one second over 80 years. OCXOs are typically used in applications that require very accurate frequency stability, including satellites and satellite communications, networking telecom, and test and measurement equipment. No matter what your clocking needs are, ECS Inc. has a part for you. We hope you found this video informative. Stay tuned for more content from ECS Inc. And for more information about our products, please visit us at our website at ecsxtal.com. Thank you for watching.